Okay, so based on all the data that we've collected so far, make a hypothesis of what's wrong with this truck. Something's not consistent or balanced between banks one and two. My theory is that the catalytic converter on bank one is partially plugged up. Why is that? Let's see if it fits all the pieces of the puzzle. We're seeing misfires in bank one, at least the computer's picking them up. You know, we can't really feel it seat of the pants, not a hard miss, but it's not happy on bank one. When you give it gas and accelerate, bank two goes lean, bank one goes rich. So you're thinking, oh, there's a fuel delivery problem on bank two. I don't think that's the case. It could be a restriction on bank one and not allowing the engine to breathe normally. Mass airflow sensor reading is lower and therefore, you know, the bank that's breathing well, bank two, is not getting enough fuel and, you know, it gets pegged lean. Now, where have we seen this type of symptom before? If you remember, when uh, at South Main, uh, the South Main Auto Channel with Eric, we did that Hyundai Tucson with a twisted camshaft. That was an epic case study. And it was very similar to this, where the banks aren't breathing equally, and the bank that was breathing better got flagged with a lean code. Eh? Sounds familiar, right? So how do we check for a plugged cat? Um, in this case, the easiest thing to do was take the pressure transducer, take out spark plug number, I guess this is bank one, so one, three, took out number three, Got my homemade transducer plugged in there, 200 PSI, and we're just going to run it idle, give it a snap throttle, and see what the pressure rises to on the exhaust stroke. Then we could do another cylinder on the other side, compare apples to apples, and see if this bank one cat is actually plugged up. Let's do it. All right, here we go. Pico scope is set up. Custom scales. So that's idle. And raise it up a little bit. And snap the idle. That's idle. About 50 psi peak. Snap the idle. and stop the recording. Look at the data. Alrighty, so startup comes down to an idle. Now here, I raised the RPMs a little bit. And let's look at our pressure during the exhaust stroke. Where's my, where's my mouse? Bring that down. About two, two PSI. Not terrible. Let's keep scrolling here. Here was the wide open throttle snap. And the pressure here during the exhaust stroke was 46 PSI. Is that believable? <laughs> That's pretty nuts. So let's do the same experiment on the other bank on bank two, which we suspect is not plugged up, compare apples to apples and then make a call from there. And just for people who are curious, this is the spark plug number three that came out of bank one. Nice light color. Here's the spark plug from bank number two. Cylinder number four. Very similar. So, can't really say too much based on the spark plug color here. Alright, so we got Bank one saved. Run the scope. Uh, 
Ah, crap. Dead battery. All right, here we go. Noko's hooked up. <laughs> Let's see what we see. Do the same thing. High RPM. <laughs> And snap throttle. <laughs> Stop it right there. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> so on the snap throttle, we didn't get above. Let's bring this up to zero. Right about there. Huge difference. That's saying five PSI and the other one was 50 on a snap throttle. That That really blows my mind. I thought it would be wouldn't be that big of a difference. So that this is the clear bank, this is bank two, the one that was setting a code. So the constipated bank, bank one, was not setting a code. So this is fantastic. Very quick test, but without a pressure transducer, this would not be possible. I want to zoom in right here. So those are the exhaust pulses. Get that to zero. So we're right about, you know, it's even minus two PSI. And if we, during that snap throttle, we're up to maybe three, three or four PSI. So that's a known good bank so that's it the diagnosis is done we're calling a plugged cat on bank one that's the driver's side and replace that this truck should at least should run better <laughs> a lot better um thanks all for watching we'll see you next time bye bye